What's up guys, Connor aka Connor coming at you again with another little banter. Um, so what's going on today? Uh, basically been working on my Ogre Man Eater. Um, just started by working on him a couple, couple hours ago I guess. I guess he's got about, well, probably just going on one hour on him now. So the base coats are just starting to come to a finale, although I'm not going to touch the nobbler on the shoulder until um, the very, very end, so I'm going to paint up the ogre completely and then start on the nobbler. Um, what I got going on for tones, as always, I'm starting with a rat skin flesh, I'm going to work up with my normal shades. Um, besides that, using a lot of browns, grays, blacks, uh, and then I'm highlighting with uh, like areas that, you know, like the, the tip of the feather. Um, and, uh, the arms are in a mixture of, maybe I throw them away here. No, I'm using a mixture of pretty much like four to one doom bowl. So lots of doom bowl brown and a little bit of corn red. It's being a nice brownie red fabric color. And I use the same thing for the tip of the, uh, feather, but because I base coated it in, uh, Rackarth flesh, it comes out being much more of a vibrant red. Um, so my plan here is to use a lot of red on the guy, it's, uh, the guy himself. I'm going to be, uh, once I wash the sleeves, I'll uh, be highlighting the edges that would be hit with the light with a brighter red, uh, working my way through the fabric. Uh, probably doing a teeny little bit of dry brushing on the feather with the red. Uh, but the, the uh, parrot itself is going to be predominantly, like the top of his head will be green, going into a blue and some yellow. So... That'll be like really nice contrast. I'm going to match those colors that'll be on the Noblar with some of the gemstones that he's got under his feet. So it's going to be a nice little triad going on. The skulls, of course, uh, will take a little bit of time as well. So he is taking as long as I thought he was going to. Just the metal stuff is taking me forever to go around and do every little metal plate. Uh, so I can't even imagine how long it's going to take me to, you know, do all the rusting effects on each one of those little metal plates. It's, it's going to be a lengthy process. Um... But overall, it's been really fun. Uh, I'd recommend this for anybody, and it's a fun little project to get away from your ogres because there's not really that much skin on him. So I know, and you guys probably know the fields as well, it, there comes a point where you just get a little bit tired of, um, of, painting, <laughs> of painting skin. I know I get there. Um, you know, the reason I paint ogres is because I like painting skin, but, you know, don't get me wrong, uh, it's nice to have... A bit of a break every once in a while it uh, can start to add up so yeah that's what I'm doing um, tonight some stuff to note I went out uh, with the girlfriend had a little date night so that's always nice um, feeling a little bit better still got still got a little bit of a cold but as you can probably tell it's uh, I'm feeling you know my voice is a little bit better um, cool. and uh, yeah we went out for dinner we saw a movie I went out and saw that new movie, Monument Men. Um, verdict on that? Uh, I liked it, but like it didn't like blow my mind. You know, I'd recommend it if you like. Uh, see, I wouldn't recommend it if you if you like war movies because it has nothing to do with war at all. Like, there's no fighting really in it. Just a couple scenes with guns, I guess. But for the most part, that's all about uh, art history, etc., etc. So. Um, so, you know, if you're not into that, it could be potentially um, quite slow. Because, uh, like I said, that's basically what it pertains to. Uh, we went out to my all-time favorite restaurant. And my all-time favorite restaurant happens to be Wild Wing. Oh. They make the best wings. I'm, I'm not screwing around. They are so good. I mean, like... I just just get one in the picture, and they probably look nasty on camera, but they're basically like, oh my god, that's so good! It's like sweet barbecue sauce. Then they toss these suckers in like a ranch, but this one's not ranch. It's like a well, it's ranch and dill. Like, the guys, guys, I'm just take a bite. Oh my god! I mean, my wing tutorial is pretty damn good, but you know my my ogre buzzard wings, but guys. Wow, wing. Oh my god. But you know, 
everyone's got their area that you know they have the best the best wings you know so that's all over the place so i mean i didn't really have much to say tonight i just want to kind of shoot something out there because i'm i'm feeling you know better my jaw's starting to uh feel a little better it's still kind of locked up but you know it goes oh yeah i got, got my little glass bottle of coke here too there's not much in them though 237 calories not even a can had like basically half a can not actually not even not even half a can so but there's something there's something nice about drinking out of a bottle i don't know can't explain it so guys tell me on the knob blog what you want me to do i'm I, like i'm starting to run out of ideas kind of now, don't get me wrong, I'm always going to post up shit and just babble on, and hey, if that's what you like, <clears throat> I got no problem with babbling on about my life. But if there's a specific project you want me to do with ogres, you know, I'd be happy to take a crack at it if it's in my abilities. It's not in my abilities, I can't do it, but at least, you know, got to at least ask. So, alright. So, I'll end it there. You know, I'm, I'm, all in all, I'm enjoying the, uh, the man-eater. Really, really fun model. Extremely detailed, except for the fact that the fine cast is really pissing me off. He's supposed to... Oh, sorry, I just burped. Um, he's supposed to have this big hoop earring. It's gold. And the thing. Earring's not even there. It's a fine cast bubble. So the fine cast bubble actually took out a whole feature of the guy. It's gone. Poof. There's no, there's no ear there. So, I mean, luckily enough, you'd never know it. I just painted over it black, so he's, it's like his beard's just going to go right up into the hat. You'd never know, but... Frustrating in some regard, because I mean, it would have been nice to match the gold on the on the chains that I'm gonna do to the earring. Match with some maybe some gold buttons going down, and then the gold uh, the gold coins at the bottom. But anyways, I'm ending it there. I, I'm actually ending it this time. All right. So take care. Peace out. Have a good one. Cheers.